guys, welcome back to another episode in Divine Journey 2. I am Terry Gaming and let's go back inside because it's raining as hell. Oof. So I did do some work around the base basically, as you can see. This hasn't really changed other than it's got an XP drain where I'm keeping all my XP stored. I am going to be running on each side and trying to make something to make it a little bit easier to work with. Over here, all I did was put a little bit of a decoration type purpose with some random books to read and a cookie jar. So I need to fill the cookie jar up. A desk and yeah. Should I get sleep? Sleep. Which looks awesome. Still got the little bag of truth which is still trying to open. Uh, yeah. I accidentally made a crap ton of in the bar uh, by mixing a lot of stuff so I'm trying to get it out of the smelter at the moment don't think I'm going to need it for right now so let's show you where I'm going to put these so I, I usually keep them in this chest and I usually a lot of chests around here I actually managed to do some organisation so over here we've got the auto, um, a little bit of an auto smelter to set up very simple but basically all goes to here it comes out here and then they all go into this chest here as you can see over here we've got where we are actually storing all of our ingots and uh, yeah basically all my ingots I might should move that one there. and then down here is going to be um, a little bit of a story slash chest area so I've got a bunch of sharpening tools for my tools so I'll do those off camera um, extra bits of mobs all the blocks and then in this area is just all the buildings and then all the random, all the other stuff that's not building and a couple of inventory stuff over there then I've expanded to um, mine out this section to work on the next mod it's basically each mod's gonna have their own room and stuff like that and it's basically gonna stay in that room unless I have to expand then I'll expand it but yeah so it's not too bad it def definitely took a long time to organise a lot of things and basically trying to get all the stuff going but we managed to get there so let's quickly look at the quest book because we are actually almost done with chapter one. All we need to do is make this thing, which is the uh, topic fighting. So we need a, a compressed double block of obsidian, two blocks of copper, some wood and an iron block. So if we grab... Obviously I managed to get quite a lot of it because I know we're going to need quite a bit of it. And Oh, well, that's the double compressed obsidian. We have already made it. Uh, we need a block, two uh, two logs. So let's grab those. Two blocks of copper and a block of iron. Two blocks of copper. Oh, that's three, one, two, and oh. then if we go over here, boom, 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 and we've got it. Ooh. Oh, we got a trophy! You know, I'm gonna get trophies, so I'm definitely gonna have to make a trophy room at some point because these look pretty cool. So I'm just gonna stick it up there for right now. Which works really well, to be honest with you, but it would definitely need a trophy room. Okay, so we've pressed K now, and then we claim it. It will give us this book. Don't really know what this book is, and I think it opens up the next chapter because now. We've actually completed this. Uh, okay, so we definitely have to go in order. So we're gonna have to go down in order, which is not gonna be fun. So next is to start the quest of uh, mainly information of Topper Manic. Use your totem to uh, writing knife as any villa um, log block to transform it into a totem base. Shift right click and scroll down the wheel to your into your totem whistling knife to switch between totem options of carving any of the tight wood or red cinder any above to create a totem to a specific kind holes are usually six blocks high including the base it is around about 11 11 blah, 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 blah. Okay. so we've got to now make this Apparently, if we grab a log, and we, oh, 
Never mind. Okay, so I can't actually mind it. Quite surprising. But it actually works. Cool. Alright, let's go. Let's go for a couple extra logs. Um. So let's figure out what we're gonna do. To complete the quest, um, craft two drums and read the information below. So we've got to make two drums. So we go in here. Uh, I think that we're gonna have to get some of this red cinder tree melody, and the buffalo dance. Oh god. Musical instruments, drums. Drums are instrumental blocks played by the simply flashing either first or Taurus should learn the rhythm, which used the flute and a drum to play together and made quite early celebrities. Recommend the drum plays order. I can't read that great, so I'm just gonna literally just do this. So we need wool, leather and logs. Wool, leather and logs. So we've got wood's not the problem. We've got wood. We're gonna need wool. As we can I have to probably go over to shear some sheep. And I think we're gonna need leather as well. Okay, we're going on out on a journey. We're gonna leave everything here. Okay, so so I'll leave we can't actually put it in there. So we can put that in there. And then we'll just put our books. And then Cheers, because two pairs. Oh, shears would be really handy to have. Okay, so it's that's a pole string planks. I do apologize, there's people outside right now. There's a reason why you guys can currently hear a motorbike going off. Not just ideal, but it's better than nothing. works. Do not really have not have a string. Okay, looks like we don't have any string here. That's fine, I'll just take I'll just take the stuff with us. So I've got that, that and that. And then all you gotta do is Minecraft table as we go. And once we kill a spider and then boom. And also just change that because mm. Right, let's go. Is that how we can kill sheep though? Oh, there's this one. Oh, there's a sheepy. Don't really want to kill this guy, these guys at all. Like, uh, men would like to keep them if possible. I mean, there's three of them, so. That's one. Two. I don't know how many that makes, but I'm not, I'm not using Air, we're not killing everyone my sheep. We're gonna need to breed them. Oh wait, it's actually fine up here. So let's get six wool in total. Cause one, this this one gives us food. You know what I mean? All right, that should do. And then do, do, do. we need leather, so we need to kill some cows. Which I never like doing because I can never find the cows to actually be able to kill any. <laughs> so it looks like this quest bulk you have to get an order no matter what it does. So it's going to be a very grindy quest book and a very temporary one. I'm pretty sure there's a way to actually turn it off to the point you can actually do what, what quest you ever either want as you go. But it's easy if you want to complete the mod pack in a way, you're going to have no choice but to follow the um, quest book. 
Oh, you just don't get anywhere. I feel like we're gonna have to go and journey out there, didn't we? Didn't we go any cows in this golden land? Did you get mined? Alright, let's do this. Dun 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 There's usually some kind of stuff around here that I can get leather from. Not just I want to grab a bit of each of their food. Because then at least we've got food to actually be able to work with. So, oh, that's some cobwebs. I never like killing horses, don't get me wrong. Because you, you never give what you want. Uh, I don't want to kill any cows that are really close by. That's a problem. raised an emu before and I think they're like I think they're literally like some of like traveling companions in a way so it'd be quite nice to actually be able to um ride it and see what an emu actually does okay so it looks like we get do get quite a bit of um sheep around as well as pigs and stuff Some food. Let's see if this, this place has got any sort of the guest. Ooh. I haven't got any uh, leather. No, but I got some dark oak, some pumpkin pie, some padotes, some ink sacks, some cactus, some sprues. Sugar cane I'll take, good pad I'll take, rotten carrots definitely I'll take. I'll quickly sleep while I've got a moment. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Found some cows. So I think we need like three. Yeah, so let's go. This guy gives us three. Cool. Oh, so the magic forest. I like these. These are quite cool. Uh, let's go forest. We'll probably go exploring at some point. Like, we'll actually do need to go exploring. That might be a good idea. Right, um... I don't think they've got a food thing for right now. So, what I'm gonna do is just grab one of these. Stick it there. Get some coal going. Take some pork chops. There we go. And just 
can dump all the crap we don't need in here. Hope. Probably this is going to be enough. But we need. Okay, hide the book again. So here's the book. Da, 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 da. And what else we do is one, put that away. Do I have even crafting table and skill dumb book? to make crap demons or something else. Hmm? What are you making? Must be a certain wood you're gonna use. Mm. Oh my! Oh. <coughs> oh, it is definitely different. Oh. Okay, so don't listen to the books when I tell you to make certain things because it does not work. Um yeah, we're gonna have to do the tumbler book. Okay, so we'll do that. I'm gonna have to grow some cactus. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to grow cactus because we are going to lose another three lots of tan leather. We've got four cactus. Um what else we need? Flint. Should have flint. I'm going to grow that, and that's going to be about there. Do, 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 do. How long do we have left? We only have a. Uh, a couple of minutes left. Right, um. We'll start, we'll start the next quest, so definitely do not listen to these books. Because the quest books definitely changed and it's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. I'm go we're gonna go exploring for the rest of the episode for you because we need some do and what's not there to do? Oh. That's right, the food's on this side. Because we need to get like a bunch of like different types of food, so different trees and so on. So let's go and do that. So we wanna we're gonna explore the rest of the episode. I'm gonna see what kind of um, stuff we can find as well. I'll grab like cows and stuff. Like I'll make like a like a small little farm. It's not gonna be anything fancy. to put some cows in the pen, basically. But I'm gonna grab some that uh, occasionally don't mind. I guess it's food, so I can hold it over. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, that did. I do have a feeling this is a, a giant island. So we're gonna have to actually go exploring, exploring. Yeah, I hate even the smaller than me because I can never get them. Oh. If they're like half the side of me, I find like the hitbox is extremely difficult. Spawners. That's pretty cool. So it's like we can probably make the spawners. If it can we just add to it. <coughs> That's me guys. I do have a thing, I do have a cold clean. Got a lot of stuff that I need here. I don't have hay fever, so it's definitely not normal. Uh, we'll go to a really dark area. But I do have a feeling we're on an island. Very fucking freaky fucking things. Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna get about crits. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, I might have to be exploring it out a lot more. Also, I wanna figure out how to get stone coins. So. We get some emus. So let's get a stone. Let's have a look at it quickly. If you be able to, you have to find them or anything. Well, this is interesting. Oh, wait, it's on the front. Oh, where's Divine Journeys? There you go. Shadow Stones and Gold gives us 10. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll probably again end up getting into that once we kind of get into the blood a lot more. Getting a link, so let's head back to the base. Go right over there. And then I'm just gonna go. Okay, so that's basically that. So yeah guys, I'm going to take some time ever off camera and then we'll get into the second part of the mod pack. But yeah guys, if you guys ever played this mod pack, don't li ever listen to the recipes in the recipe book because it's usually not right or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a bit of a chilled out episode, we didn't really do much, but we managed to notice a couple of things that are different with this mod pack compared to everything else. Also, we did do a bit of a base expansion, which looks pretty cool. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time. Next time we're getting into some musical instruments and some ceremonial weird stuff. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoy. Bye guys.